Well, with the option to get almost anything delivered to your home, getting alcohol delivered just got a little bit easier in Maryland. As WMAR 2 News' Ashley McDowell shows us, the new law allows third-party vendors to do the hard work. Needing to wind down with an alcoholic beverage after a long day? Well, House Bill 808 will help with that. It took effect on July 1st and will make it easier for adults to order alcohol from a local licensed merchant to be delivered to their homes through third party delivery companies like DoorDash or Uber Eats. It'll be beneficial because we don't have driving staff to go out every couple of minutes or hours or however long we get an order for. Those who purchase or order alcohol must be 21 and show proof of age by ID upon delivery. Rules that make sense aligning with the law, but leave those like Alexandra De Silva, who is the manager at Uncorked Wine Plus Spirits in Towson, skeptical that there are ways around it. A concern that uh, we could see with this is that uh, college kids, those that are underage, can just get one person to kind of supply and get it delivered to wherever they're hanging out and then, you know, they just check that one ID. They don't know that there's eight other people kind of waiting and going to drink. Those delivering must be 21 and obtain a delivery service permit that will be $1,000 annually. Implementation is based on the county, but some question how well delivery drivers will do their part. Um, I think it's a tricky situation um, just because, yeah, it is safer um, so people don't have to drink and drive. I do know, like, they would have to verify the identity, but that doesn't mean that, like, they can't just, like, fake I. Um, identify the identity, you know. A delivery driver may not deliver alcohol to someone who is outside the jurisdiction where a retail license holder is located. Penalties for delivery driver violations include a fine of $1,000 to $6,000 and ultimately revoking the service permit. In Baltimore County, Ash McDowell, WMAR 2 News.